going on YouTube viewers? It's your dude, Hannah Miss Dragon, coming at you with another video. Today, we're going to be reacting to a fight versus a fight video. Or should I say, a martial artist versus a martial art video. Today, we have Capoeira versus Karate. I I got read all. Oh god, that ooh, that felt good. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, uh, or what I do for right now, uh, I'm actually going to do some react videos on martial art videos, and of course, do some martial art fight scene videos as well. Basically, this video is gonna, this whole channel is not gonna be back to martial arts, but cosplay as well. With before we carry on with the rest of the video, I want you guys to do me a quick little favor, just a little, little tiny little tidbit. I want you guys to do for me. I want you guys to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any more future videos coming up in later future. That look just disappeared on me, but trust me, just just do that part. I mean, that's all I ask. And of course, if you guys want to go ahead and go ahead and support even more. <laughs> go ahead and purchase the merch. You guys get the mask, the pillow. Well, the mask is gonna start to come down anyway. Uh, the pillow. There's some coats, you throw all that stuff, even home accessories. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm already gonna go ahead and get a blanket of my logo right up here, just to put up there, just so you guys can see it, so you guys be more interested. I'm not, I'm not leading you guys wrong. If you guys want to go ahead and purchase my merch to help support the channel, go ahead and click the link in the description down below, and it most definitely leads you to the website where my merch is at. Also, before this video carry on, I want you guys to put down below who do you think will win or who do you think should win. We all know at the end of this video who will win, but I mean. Well, at least, I mean, I don't know who will win because I have actually trained in both karate, uh, karate and capoeira. I'm actually a red belt in karate. Uh, capoeira, I am self-taught, so I really don't know what to expect in this fight. But one thing I hope to gain is a lot, a lot of information and stuff like that because I still want to know. I still want to learn. I want to learn. Yeah. And if you've been disappointed, put down a little comment down below of what made you think that that style should have won and why is it superior or at least in a way more useful more useful in a fight because that's what martial arts really is about it's about who is which one which style is actually beneficial to you in a fight and which one is not that's pretty much what it is which begins right about oh no i'm not gonna poke it i'm gonna punch it this is martial arts style Fight! karate versus capoeira oh there are many different types of martial arts, some more well-known than others. Karate is probably one of the more well-known, but capoeira is not one that we hear so much about. The two techniques are very different and originate from very different countries. So which technique is best? Or is it right to say that one oh, is better yeah. than the other? We're going to take a closer look at both of these martial arts in detail. There are origins, the style of each, and which one would win in a fight. But before we do this, remember to give us a thumbs up and a quick click on our subscribe button to get more videos. I apologize, I'm not about to react to this, but it got me high. I gotta keep doing this, I'm sorry. No, I'm not apologizing for what I do. I do it. The word capoeira comes from the Tupi word ka'a, meaning forest, and pao, meaning round. So Which around refers to the areas of low vegetation in the Brazilian interior where fugitive slaves would hide. It has been suggested that capoeira was first created during the 16th century by slaves who were taken from West Africa to Brazil by the Portuguese colonists. At this time, they were forbidden from practicing any martial arts or celebrating their cultural customs. So in order to bypass these laws, capoeira emerged. A mixture of dance to music and violent kicks came across to others as passionate dance movements. This became a survival tool for slaves and a way of saving their cultural identity. Many slaves using capoeira could escape their masters and form rebellion groups known as quilombos. Within their own communities, they stood against the Portuguese control and became famous for their courageous defenses they put up. Palameres is one of these communities with a stronghold of over 10,000 people. As the population of slaves became bigger, so did the culture of capoeira. For many, this was entertainment as well as a form of defense. It was used in competition or for leisure. Wow. 
I don't know that much about capoeira. The Japanese translation for the word karate is empty hand and evolved in East Asia over a period of centuries, becoming systematized in Okinawa in the 17th century by people forbidden to carry weapons. It's thought that karate was influenced by Fujian White Crane, a form of Kung Fu originating in southern China. Okinawan karate is related to two schools known as Shorin Ryu and Shore Ryu. The former refers to Master Matsumura's karate lineage, as well as the Northern Temple of Shaolin. The latter refers to Southern Chinese martial arts, which were largely brought back to Ryukyu from Fujian and Fujian. In 1609, the Satsuma clan of Kyushu, Japan, invaded and seized control of Kyukyu. The Okinawans were then forbidden to practice any martial arts, and although they fought hard against this, the Satsuma samurai overpowered them. Hi. During the Satsuma occupation, karate became shrouded in secrecy. Yatta! Yatta! <laughs> so let's look at the difference in styles. Karate is a discipline employing kicking, striking, and defensive blocking with arms and legs. An aggressive art with emphasis on concentrating as much of the body's power as possible at the point and instant Ooh. of impact. Dude, there are two types of training in karate. First being kihon, which means basics. This forms the base of everything, including stances, strikes, punches, kicks, and blocks. The right. next is kata, meaning shape. These are a sequence of movements and postures formed for defense and offensive moves. Then the last is kumite, oh. literally meaning meeting the hands. Kumite is practiced both as a sport and as self-defense training. We are now at the halfway mark, so just a reminder to like this video and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top. Well, I already videos. liked it, so I'm good. Now back to our fighting styles. Capoeira can be described as a game, a dance, or a fight. It teaches cleverness, awareness, the ability to perceive danger early and deal with the situation calmly and cunningly. It focuses on movement. In fact, the fundamental movement is called ginga, meaning to swing. This is I remember this by saying from Kajal and the protector. A still and easy target. Awesome movie. It yeah. also makes the opponent unaware of when you may strike. The defense is based on using evasive moves to avoid an attack. It is a very acrobatic martial art with a series of rolls and cartwheels, all allowing the capoeira to quickly overcome a takedown or a loss of balance. It Ooh. is the combination of attacks, defense, and mobility that gives capoeira its perceived fluidity and choreography-like style. Let's not forget that music accompanies the art of capoeira, and this is played on an instrument called a berimbau, which is a Brazilian musical bow made of wood. These instruments are just under five feet long and strung with a single metal wire. Yeah, those things sound like down, 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 well, that, Ooh, that guys, go ahead and put down in the comments down below which one you think is better. Is probably the most deadly, and yet to look at is more like a dance. And as they say, if looks could kill, well, these can. Yeah. It's also a great form of exercise as you are constantly moving with twists and turns. It certainly does put your opponent off guard. If you take a trip to Brazil today, you will see many demonstrations of capoeira in the streets, and it is a major attraction. Karate can also be deadly, but in a different way. It is more about the hands and feet, and not as much about movement. It's also a lot about the power of mind, meditation, and self-discipline. There are also a lot of different teachings of karate, right. and in some, weapons are included. So what would happen if karate came face to face with capoeira in a battle? This is a tough one to answer as they are both, as was mentioned before, deadly. Looking back at what has been said, it would seem to me that capoeira would come out on top. But I could be really? wrong. 
on one hand, you have the fast movement of the capoeira. Would karate be able to keep up with the constant moving around? But I mean, if you keep, if you keep in mind, when you're doing martial arts, or at least capoeira, capoeira is unpredictable, like drunken fist kung fu. Blow with feet and hands but karate, you're stable in one area. Of course, you capoeira, move around. That's when you, you sit up, hand but you moving around and stuff. But capoeira, they move around so much, it's hard for you to keep track of where they're going. It's all like you so much go in there, you might get kicked. We really believe that. I mean, it might be crashing like now, where you have it behind them, and they go like pow. And the more well come in, pow, kick you right there, and you just don't even know it's coming. Up the sport, more confident with it. Karate also has a very smart appearance with the white costumes and an array of colored belts to achieve, whereas capoeira is more relaxed and much more a street event. And as mentioned before. Something you see in Brazil is one of their most recognized sports, but unfortunately, it is not seen in many other countries. Karate, I believe, is popular all the world over. So that's it for our look at karate versus capoeira. Which martial art do you think is best? Is there a winner here, or do you think it's even? Do you practice one of these? Please oh, yeah. let us know in the Both, comments actually. below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Brutal... Okay, that's the end of that video, guys. The, the video is called Capoeira vs. Karate. Unbelievable fight. Okay, I was, I never seen their videos before. It's called Brutal TV. I was expecting somebody to fight. But it's okay, it's okay. Um, I learned a lot. I really did. Because as a martial artist, I l noticed that Capoeira is awesome. I mean, I, I took up... like. Like, I self-taught myself how to do the stuff, how to do the flips, how to do the Jenga, how to do the balanza, you know, how to do the balanza and stuff like that. So I really taught myself how to do this stuff. I'm not saying I'm a master, but let's just say I, I can hold my own with a capoeira dance. Um, I remember I was doing a, a modeling photo shoot in um, Baltimore. And I, I was doing capoeira, it was a photo shoot. I was doing capoeira in the park. And it was amazing. Everybody loved it. Everybody watched me. It was enjoyable. They saw me do my flips. Of course, I was getting like pictures taken as well. And people wanted to take a picture of me. <laughs> and it was fun. And people were like, oh, can we take a picture with a celebrity? I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. They did say that. Anyway, YouTubers, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have not already done so, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any more future videos coming later on my, on my channel. And of course, you want to support the channel, purchase the merch. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. See you guys soon. I also put any comments and your suggestions down below for martial art videos. Bye now.